Hey guys, no video for our buying a house in Japan playlist. Some of you will recognize this tatami room. This piece of wall up here has been deteriorating. Not quite sure why. Might just be some movement in the post over the years has sort of put pressure on that corner or something. It's sort of pushed the corner out. So nobody noticed it. Nobody's actually noticed it except for the unskilled wall repairer who's been really bothered by it and wanted to do something with it. So you can't do much with that directly. You have to remove it. And the best way to remove it is just vacuum it off because it's messy because it's all sand. So again, that's basically just a sort of mud with a frame of bamboo inside it to support it, to give it, to give it the, the strength, and then a render over the top. So the correct way to repair this is to patch it and then redo that whole section. Now, to do that, you have to do, redo the whole room because we can get that colour, but that colour's been aged over the last 60 years or so, so you're not going to be able to match the colour. So the only way to do it is to do the whole room. Really don't want to do that. <laughs> of all the walls in the old farmhouse, this wall is the one that we always worry about because it's so hard to fix. So we're always saying to kids, be careful of the wall, because if you hit it with something hard, it'll crack or it'll take a piece out of it. So it's just messy. So this is just a patch. Keeping in mind, nobody had noticed that it, that it was dodgy up there, except the old guy. So all we really have to do is just stop it dropping sand on the tatami and to sort of make it look a little bit better than it was. So mask the wood, but can't mask the wall itself because the masking tape would damage the wall. Really tricky working in that corner too. Sort of making it sort of smooth, not quite as smooth as we'd like, but you just have to compromise. The other thing you can't do with it is you can't sand it, of course, because of where it is. So it's going to be a little bit rough, but just have to accept that. So I remove that tape while the filler is still soft, while it's still wet because if you wait till it's dry, it might just pull all the filler out again. So leave it 24 hours or 36 hours or whatever it was, and then come back, mask it again. Get it ready for some paint. So it's, so, it's just a patch. It's just a patch, basically. So again, fortunately, it doesn't normally get noticed. Interestingly too, that white filler was up there for about 36 hours. Nobody noticed it either. So that gives you a bit of an idea. They didn't even know this project was happening. So that gives you an idea of how much that spot gets noticed. But just the old guy now and again lying on the tatami floor looking up at it. <laughs> it's like, I've got to fix that. got to fix that one day. Stop it shedding sand on the tatami. So that colour is the closest we could get. It's a bit too brown. It needed to be a bit more green, but it was the closest that we could find. Boom. All right. So it won't be shedding sand anymore. And it won't be falling off anymore. So there it is see don't really notice it that's with the camera up near the ceiling too from down on the on the floor it's even less obvious so yeah if you find yourself living in an old japanese farmhouse <laughs> or an old japanese house that's got these sort of walls just be really careful with them they're really delicate if you hit them with anything hard it'll take out a piece or it'll crack it and fixing it's a nightmare don't want to do the whole room <laughs> anyway there was that more videos coming soon.